Hey guys, we're back. It's day two in Atlanta. We're here for World Championships at the WOW TCG. Glad you could join us. First of all, you got the top 96 over there. We're going to look at their draft here in a minute. And then we've got the Dark Moon Fair. The Dark Moon Fair has 211 people in it. We're going to talk to Matt Devuano, the head judge for it over there, get a little feel for how he sees being a red shirt in a, in a uh, vehicle like that. We've got a couple of interviews we're going to talk to. We're going to talk to Christina Sims. We're going to talk to Corey Burkhart, who so far is having an amazing come from behind journey. So we'll talk to him. It's WOW TCG World Championship coverage from Mozu Pro. Let's do this. All right, guys, we are back. It is day two at Worlds. Who have I got with me? You may not recognize her because she's not in costume. Christina Sims, leader of the Black Flame. Christina, Hi. hey, how you doing? Good. Last time we interviewed, there were like these weird pictures just floating on a YouTube screen. Yeah, it was uh, just you and then the picture of Vanessa Van Cleef and then Eric Stone, Eric Stone Jack. Jack and Vanessa Van Cleef. From what I've been told, a lot of people lost their mind during that. Oh. Because the voices changed per ear for whoever was talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we will, uh, won't have that we problem. We won't have that around. problem. So, how's uh, Worlds going for you? Uh, it's going really well. The first event uh, of Worlds went really smoothly. Sure. Uh, now we're getting on into draft. Um, and again, it's just going really smooth. We even ended a little early yesterday. Um, so Early? Wait, what? Yeah. Whoa. Well, you know, best of one, 30-minute mm -hmm. rounds. You can get that stuff done, guys. Yep, yep. This is why we do it. No, it's two out of three. I mean, we, we're we going to be spending a little bit more time on it. But sure. Draft is awesome. Oh, yeah. the draft And this set, I've heard nothing but good stuff about the draft for this set. So mm -hmm. done it once myself. Yes, I don't do well at draft, but it was still fun. And I get to personally touch and stamp almost every one of those cards. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> a whole lot of fun. Now, speaking of, though, you're actually wearing pants at this event. I am, so you can talk to me now. That's right. Everybody can talk to Christina. She's in pants. What's up with that? I mean, obviously, Katie's rocking it out there as Vanessa, doing a great job. But is this a permanent change in role, or are we, uh, you know, are we just seeing an aberration because it's all hands on deck for Worlds? It is definitely all hands on deck for Worlds. Um, we need people to kind of manage the volunteers and judges a lot sure. more at Worlds than we would at any other event. Okay. Plus, we have about like 52 volunteers at this event versus the maybe 20 that wow. we have at a normal DMF. Sure. Um, so with Drew handling Worlds and Sarah handling side events, um, Alex managing everything else, somebody's got to keep a good eye on the volunteers and take good care of them. And also, you know, be able to take the time out to talk to them and, you know, get feedback on how their programs are going. Good deal. Good deal. Well, obviously, better to talk to you, you know, when you have the pants on. Correct. You get more than two seconds. Otherwise, you have to try to sneak in for a challenge and be like, yeah, while we're playing, uh, do you think, you know, what about this? Yeah, it's like, uh, can, we, can we talk a little bit about, uh, yeah. Yeah, my and, and I'll attack you for five. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I don't know. Everybody else is waiting for me. Yeah, in it's, line. and you're out. <laughs> and that's why she beats everybody so quick. You'll not, no, I'm kidding. But, um... So, how are things overall? I mean, we, you've got the sets going good, Worlds is going good. Anything, you know, any secrets maybe, you know, new costumes you want to spoil or Ooh. anything like that? Uh, well, the new costume, I, I suppose technically I won't be wearing pants again. Okay. Um, and then I put a little bit of a teaser up on the WoW TCG site. Um, if you saw it, it's a picture of some scale mail. Oh, right. I did see the scale mail shot. So, everybody, you know, try to figure that out. It may be a little bit difficult, but it'll be relevant towards the block. Oh, okay, block relevant. Mm -hmm. hmm. And then we'll see that in Jacksonville, correct? Correct. All right, so Jacksonville, Florida, coming in January, you can see the new costume and try to beat up on Christina or whoever they stuff into it. So, awesome. Well, Christina, always a good time talking to you. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time. Guys, Champion of the Black Flame leadership right here, Christina Sims. We'll be back. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.
All right, guys, if you've never been to a big event, you've only been to like local drafts and stuff, you probably have never seen this. So we're gonna take you to a little bit of coverage, not a whole lot, just a quick glimpse of what a professional level draft looks like. It's a little bit scary. All right, guys, we're out here. We've been talking to everybody and their grandmother. I actually have never talked to Corey on tape. Corey, good How to you see doing? you, buddy. Doing well yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, obviously, you made day two. Amazingly. Yeah, oh, me, yeah, whatever. It's a kid. All right. So what was your record yesterday? Uh, we ended up 6-3. and three. I started 0-3 contemporary. So okay. we weren't too happy after the first three rounds and uh, somehow rattled off six in a row and... Rattle off the first one here today, so we're seven and three. Nice, seven and three coming in. How was the draft? All right, obviously you got the win, but how's your draft pod? You were pretty high up on the pod, right? Uh, so my pod is the six, three, five, four split pod. I have okay. the absolute worst breakers of 78th place coming into the day. All right. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I need to either five, one or six, zero to make tomorrow. Okay. Um, basically when I went over to the table, I just told everyone when I sat down, I'm gonna draft green. We've already got a min cash. I don't know what a min cash is worth, but if you value money, I recommend you draft Border Alliance. I'm gonna draft Monster and you can't stop me. Nice. And it seems everyone at the table listened because <laughs> the Alliance players all train wrecked each other, the Horde players don't have playable board allies. And, and you've got every, a lot of green. Everything that says Monster here required is in my deck. So it wasn't an excellent draft, but it was a decent draft and I would be fairly, fairly disappointed if one to at this point. Okay. See guys, you let him mind. He got gotcha. you. He and and, and that's it. the royal we, by the way, because <laughs> Corey's got a, a mascot in here. Obviously, I'm hoping oh, yeah. that's who he means by we. So, what's the story behind the the stuffy? All right. So his name is Meatloaf. Um, he's a bat out of hell. No, he's one of the wind riders for right. the horde griffins. Yeah, sure. Play the online game. You travel around quicker uh, by you know paying some money, fly around. Uh, travels to different flight masters. Uh, basically, Warcraft Gaming Center was selling these for 20 bucks, and Ash thought it was really cute. Uh, <laughs> Ash is my girlfriend, and she wanted it, so I went ahead and bought it. Right. After, I think, round one, when I was 0-1. And, you know, I didn't really think about it. And then 0-3 rolled around, and I was just sure. not in the best of moods. Of course. I rightfully so. Try to cheer me up. She was just like, here, take a picture of this guy, and try to be all funny about it. And after that, I was like, well, taking this, and... I don't know. He seems to be the best player on our team because we're six and three. With me, we're zero and three. With him, we're seven and three. So he's the best player on our team by far. There you go. Awesome. And just for that, later, as from now on, that's going to be the story of the tournament right there. Oh, absolutely. When when we win on Sunday, yes, it's going to be. You owe it all to him. Uh, well, obviously, obviously, <laughs> he's the champion. He gets the trophy. Okay. But it's a matter of. How do you deal with the check? How do we split it evenly? Oh, is know, it an unfair advantage? Like, do we have to talk to the judges about was right. it was it getting outside information? Right. Well, hang on. Let me ask him. No, what do you? Now he said, "Screw you." He wants the money. He just gets everything. He gets everything. 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 It's almost like a marriage. No, just kidding, <laughs> honey. <laughs> All right. Well, Corey. Hey, man. Continued good luck. Appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for stopping Love by. The show. Corey Burkhart. Oh, thank you. Hey, this guy. He knows what he's doing. He's a real threat out there. You guys better be careful. We'll be back. What's that sound? Do you hear that? That's the top 96 putting their decks together after the draft. Sounds like rain. All right. Guys, we're out here. It wouldn't be an event without Warcraft Gaming Center. They're here. Ben, good to see you. Good to see you, too. How's things going? Uh, pretty mean, good. Uh, we have a scary clown. The uh, circus I, is in town. Yeah, the circus is definitely in town. <laughs> We've actually got three different uh, friends of Warcraft Gaming Center as clowns. We've got Randy Williams, who lost a bet to be a clown. Nice. Joe Demetrio, who lost a bet to be a clown. And Ray Toddick, who is only a clown in solidarity with Randy Williams. Wow. Um, yeah. All right. 
things are going uh, pretty well. We got a big display. Like yes. we tried to do our Gen Con booth over again. Yeah, it looks uh, I good. I think uh, you know people liked it. Um, as you can see by the many vacancies on our shelves. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Product moving. That's always yeah. a good thing. Oh, cool, of course. Cool. And people will like it. I mean, I've had a lot of people buying uh, old product. Just people like to relive their old experiences. Fields of Honor, Blood of Gladiators, Drums of War, stuff like that. Wow, they just love interesting. It. Yeah. Interesting that people are doing that. And obviously good for business. So rock and roll. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Um, We're having a good time. So. All right. Well, hey, man, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thanks uh, for having me. As in. always, guys, that's Warcraft Gaming Center. We'll be back. Right. Guys, we're down here. We're talking the DMF with head judge, Matt Buono. Matt, good to talk to you, sir. Great, thanks to be here. Hey, yeah, so head judging, this is your first red shirt, right? Yeah, this is my first red shirt. All right, now guys, unlike Star Trek, he gets to live no matter what. <laughs> well, that's so, assuming I don't screw anything up. Right, well then of course, you know, Nathaniel just comes out, rips his black shirt off, he has red underneath, he yep. stabs you in the throat, yep. and takes over. Yep, that's what the EXO does. That's right, the EXO does, he takes over, and he's ready, he's off camera ready, he's watching you. So, how many players have you got for the DMF today? Uh, we have 211 players playing today. That's pretty damn good sized. Yeah. Absolutely. So they right into the fire for you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is one, probably one of the bigger DMFs uh, that I've even been to. So. Sure. Yeah. No, because like LA, um, this spring had like 170 something. Yeah. You know, something like to that. break 200 is damn good yep. and awesome. So of course it's what sealed. Yeah, this is a sealed event. Okay. Of War of the Ancients. Right. Very cool and. Uh, what, round three going on right now? This is round two. So oh, we, this is we'll still... probably be here for about another six hours or so. That's okay, folks. You know, six yeah. hours. This guy, he doesn't mind. He will walk and be on his feet all day just for these players. Don't tell the players that, though. <laughs> don't tell them because they'll take advantage of it. We don't need that. So, uh, of course, you were running stuff yesterday. You were yeah. out and about. Um, how was it? I mean, you obviously, you're an experienced judge. This, that, and the other. You've been promoted up to head judge, which is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, but how was it to feel just to have, you know, I mean, the red, it's got to be intimidating a little bit. Uh, it, it's a little bit. Um, so when you first get asked to be a head judge, it's kind of like, at first it comes to you be like, you know, that, that sounds really cool. And I can't believe <laughs> that I, I'm, I've actually done well enough for it to be recognized or something like that. Right. Sure. Um, and I thought I had everything planned out. And of course, Hurricane Sandy comes along, right? True. Um, yeah, Sandy. And we had a bunch of judges just not able to make it, um, and uh, I had everybody scheduled out so that you know all those events were going to be covered. And then I realized how much uh, how much pressure is on the head judges and the team leads and such because of how much uh, how agile you need to be to be able to make changes as things come up. And such. Okay. So uh, for the first two days, uh, it was. Uh, I was kind of glad that I was on side events, um, uh, kind of managing the team on side events, uh, so I can kind of warm up to the position. Nice. Um, and uh, I think they went pretty smoothly. Right. Uh, there were a few kinks, of course. Uh, but right. I think they went pretty well. Well, anything this size, you're gonna right. you're gonna have kinks. If you don't, then you're worried about something really big happening. Yeah. <laughs> and you got that out of the way with Sandy. Yep. So you're good to go. Awesome. Well, I'm definitely glad things are going smooth. Great turnout for the DMF. Mm -hmm. uh, have what's the most interesting? I mean, obviously you've had to had a couple of appeals by now. I've actually only had one appeal so far. Okay, so since you can't have your most interesting appeal yet, what was the appeal? Uh, the appeal was with regards to a card uh, that, uh, when he enters play, he deals four damage to a target ally. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, if if he does that damage, then uh, another target hero or ally uh, gains assault four. Okay. Uh, sorry, the the damage that he deals is to a friendly ally. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, the question was, he was dealing that damage to a two one protector, uh, and the player did not believe he should get assault four because he only has one health, right? But you can deal four damage to a one health. Yeah, exactly. You can. So. Wow. Well, at least that wasn't over in Worlds. That was over the yep. GMF. Awesome. Well, Matt, great talking to you, sir. Great. Continued Thanks luck in me. the head judging. Of course, guys, Matt Duano, first time in the red shirt. He's kicking ass. <laughs> you should be here. The man runs an event. We'll be back. Thanks. Hey, anytime, buddy. <laughs>